Hello and welcome to the SimTouch Teleprompter demonstration video. Very powerful teleprompting software and very simplistic to use. Uh, it can be used with mouse buttons, it can be used with keyboard commands and it can be used with a media remote control. Using the uh, keyboard commands is a good way uh, if you want to uh, get your text to go by pressing the space bar. We can uh, play and pause our teleprompting uh, software there. We can control the speed on the controlled speed here and we can just slow things down or even reverse it the opposite way. Uh, we can change from uh, to black on white on our text or we can keep it on white on black. Here we've got a little pointers where you might want to set them for your reading. And we can just move them pretty much where we want to kind of visualize the read of the text. Um, again, we can go over to the eye line and we can stretch them out a bit if we want or make them more narrow. And we can kind of bring them out from a width point of view also. Uh, we've got our outer margins. And here we've got our text margin. So you might want to bring the text right in or slightly line it up. I like to personally have it lined up here with the um, eye line, personally myself. Um, okay, so there's a couple of things that we can do here. Uh, if you've got an extra monitor loaded, your monitors will be listed here and you can put your um, teleprompter out onto your visual output. So whatever that is, another monitor, it could be a distribution unit to have it on several monitors, which is usually the case. You might have a six-way distribution unit and you'll have the out of the computer, uh, monitor output on your computer going into the input of the vis video distribution unit. And that way you can have the teleprompter over various monitors um, and it's controlled here on the computer by the person who's going to control the teleprompter. Again, we've got the pause button and play button here also. Um, we've got a font size, we can adjust it less or more. Uh, we can adjust the line height, how we really want that, bringing it all in together or making the big stretched gaps. Again, you know, um, the show talent window, well, this is basically to show your monitor output if you're going to have it on monitor output. And that would basically allow you to do changes on the talent windows in full screen talent window, flip talent window vertically and horizontally, just like you can do here on the main window itself. So we can flip it uh, just like this. Okay. So you can load a document or you can edit a document. So you can edit a document and make changes to it by simply clicking edit and selecting your rich text document. Um, you can load the document in that you want for the teleprompt and software itself. Um, or And then <coughs> if you make any edits or changes to it, you can simply click save text or save as text. So over here on the, we've got the percentage of the uh, information left to be scrolled on the document itself. And here's the estimated time left on the viewing of the, the document that you're reading out. So again, this all really goes down to the speed. Um, so basically I can use the plus key to speed things up on the keyboard. And I can use the negative key to scroll things down. Or you can use the slider bars yourself. And here we just simply have to view your commands if you want to see the keyboard shortcuts. Page up, page down which allows you to change your text by holding the... I'm holding the page up key now and now you can hold the page down. Um, you can see you've got your plus and negative key for your speeds and then you've got your space bar uh, F5 or escape for your pause and play total and then the period key is a restart. And then uh, for the remote control, media remote control, whoever you've got it connected, the one built onto your computer on your keyboard, or it could be a physical remote control itself. Uh, 
here are the keys to press for that and how to control the software. That's pretty much it on our uh, teleprompting software. It's to go along and coincide with our video products. And um, basically, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and again, if you need to, if you're watching this from an outside source, you can visit our website, which is www.simtouch.eu. And there you will find a host of video production products that we produce for countries throughout the world and video production people throughout the world. Okay, thank you and goodbye.